Hi, this is George Durkee again, and this is part two of setting up a search using Mapsar and ArcGIS 10. In this video, we'll uh, establish assets, uh, Hellespots, CP, etc., and uh, segments. You want to uh, start by going into an editing session. And then, uh, in this case, we'll go to uh, operational period and enter the information there, give it a date, and then move down to weather. And it's uh, a good practice just to go straight to the NOAA site, uh, spot forecast for the Charlotte Lake area in Kings Canyon, and copy and paste that directly for the day's weather. And then the incident commander and the name of the uh, SAR, that's in a drop down. And we'll just have IC and plans chief. All this is optional. Uh, if you just want to quickly make maps, uh, none of this is necessary, although it does help if you have just a few minutes and, and fill it in. safety message. Um, in this case it's early season so snow uh, on the rocks and so on, be careful. What radio frequencies you're using uh, for standard comms and for emergency comms. Save that. Always a good idea to save after each edit you're, uh, you're happy with. And now we'll uh, establish uh, some assets. Make sure that the box is checked, otherwise you won't uh, have the tools available in the Create Features window. And so you've established the asset and now you go to the table and fill in the specific information. Operational period, uh, the fact that it's assigned and in place, and uh, the ICP is already filled in because that's the symbol you chose and just a short description Charlotte Lake and in this case we'll just say the only comms we have are by radio and notice on the right a little off screen the coordinates are already filled in now let's uh, grab a hellespot and establish a hellespot at the far end of the lake And I like uh, to have the uh, pop-up attribute table come. So I go to Editor, and then Options, and Attribute tab, and check, uh, in this case, uh, Assets, so that the uh, little box comes up. Just easier to, to fill in. Call it H1, Charlotte Lake. And finally, we were able to get a trail block out up to Glen Pass. And so we'll put a uh, trail block up there. And notice it's highlighted in blue because that's the active uh, edit feature that you're. Uh, that you're doing right now. As always, save. We'll close out just to make sure everything propagates through the system. And now uh, we'll start drawing segments. And once again, I want the uh, attribute window to come up while I'm doing it. This is sometimes it stops working on my machine. I'm not quite sure what that is, but in any event, 
uh, it'll work a little bit. And the nice thing about MapSAR is we have a buffer tool which will create a polygon um, with a buffer width. Uh, the default is 50 meters, but you can increase that by using the D key. And so I just uh, drew a freehand line directly on top of the trail up to Glen Pass and then fill in the information uh, for that. It'll be uh, segment 1 and the route, Charlotte to Glen Pass, operational period, and then OK. You can see that's uh, buffered out so it's uh, it's more visible, more visible than just a line. And now we'll do the same thing uh, on the high trail up to Kearsarge Pass. And you just click to start the line, and then just draw it. And then uh, we'll have it come back down the lower trail. Click to end. Again, it'll be segment two, and fill in the uh, information from Charlotte to Kearsarge Pass and back the lower trail. Now, on a hasty search, uh, you might not want to do this step. Uh, you might want to go directly to assignments, uh, save 10 minutes or so, and uh, just to get the maps to your teams and get them out the door. And uh, there's no problem whatsoever with that. Uh, in a moment, we'll convert these segments to assignments, and you'd just reverse the process. So you'd establish the assignments, and then you'd use the uh, template uh, to convert them to segments. Uh, in this case, we're going to take the segments and convert them to assignments. So there's another uh, segment, uh, segment three for Kearsarge Basin and Lakes. And now one more for Charlotte Lake itself. And uh, we'll fill in some of the information that didn't get filled in. And the other thing you want to do is look at the whole attribute table. It often happens when you're creating a bunch of polygons that your mouse skips over something uh, and you create a tiny little fragment polygon which you don't want. And so when you look at all of the uh, segments you've created, all the polygons together, you might see an extra one, uh, which is the case here. I created uh, four, and there's five here, so we'll look at that in a moment and delete it. And when you highlight them, they highlight on the map so you know which polygon, which segment you're working with. So then keep moving through the uh, attribute table, uh, highlighting the segments and filling in the information. And you can move the uh, attribute table around just to see what's behind it and which segment you're, you're working on. And in this case, I highlight something and it doesn't show up, um, but you can and zoom to and notice it takes you to that strange little uh, polygon there. And you can do one of two things. You can merge it uh, with the larger polygon or you can just delete it and in this case I just deleted it and then finish filling in the uh, segment description for your team and these will appear on the assignment maps we create
Okay, now we save yet again. You can't save too often. Zoom back out, and there are all your segments shown on the uh, on the terrain. And in the next video, we'll convert each of those segments to an assignment and print assignment maps.